Last week I did a really cool photo shoot with my friend Carolina and I shot a video to go with it and basically in today's video I'm going to show you both the video and the photos that we were able to do that day. This video is a bit different from what I've done so far and it's definitely something that I want to do more of in the future and I just hope you like it. I filmed everything using my Fujifilm X-T4 handheld and I edited and colored it in Adobe Premiere Pro. At the end of this initial clip, if you're wondering how I managed to get these colors and halations out of Premiere Pro, I'll talk to you about it at the end of the video and yeah, just make sure to stick around. In the meantime, grab a coffee or a beverage of your choice and let's watch the video. Did you like that quick montage? <laughs> to be honest, I'm quite proud of it. And this kind of work is definitely something that I'm really into and something that I wanna do a lot more of in the future. So obviously I just need to do it more and try and get better at it. Anyway, let's just jump onto the photos that I took that day. And I'm just gonna say the obvious. I love working with Carolina and I think she's just amazing at like expressing the emotions that I ask her to, to express. I don't know, she's just really good at conveying emotion. I didn't take a lot of photos because we were running short on light uh, due to the fact that we spent some time shooting that video and because the sky got really cloudy right before sunset, which I didn't predict because I'd actually checked the weather up earlier that day and it wasn't supposed to be cloudy, so I just had to work with what I was given. Because these shots were complementary to the video, I shot a couple of them inside the car and the majority of them outside the car and in the area surrounding it. Overall, I'm really happy with the results and I think I was actually able to capture the mood and the look that I intended to do so regarding both the video and the photos. Remember the video I shot a few months ago where I tried out the Dehancer plugin for the first time and actually I tried out editing in DaVinci Resolve for the first time as well? Well, Dehancer has now released a version that actually works on After Effects and Adobe Premiere and I was asked to try out this last version and honestly it kind of blew me away. I love the results that I got in DaVinci but obviously DaVinci isn't my editing software of choice so being able to use the enhancer and achieving that same look and get really cool features like halation and bloom and I don't know everything in Premiere Pro it's just awesome to me because it allows my vision to come to life a lot easier and it's a lot better for my workflow that's it if you want to try out the enhancer yourself you can download a free trial on their website and when you're ready to get the full version of the Hanser Pro, you can enter the code NUNU, 
all caps at checkout and you'll save 10% on your order. So we're now at the end of the video and if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching. This channel uh, really means a lot to me and it's something that I'm actually quite invested into, although maybe I don't show it, maybe it's just my opinion because I don't post that much, but I've got a ton of ideas uh, regarding content, but sometimes I just get way into my head and I end up not posting anything but that's definitely something that I'm working towards and I'm sure I'll get a lot more consistent in the near future. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, feel free to comment down below which were your favorite images from the bunch or if you have any ideas or just general things that you would like to see in this channel and yeah I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!